Hey everyone, this is uh, Jingo Fett from FX Sabers, and these are the overwards that I installed Ultrasound 2.0 in. And there's only three. If you have one, I'd be happy to install sound in it. Um, this is nothing compared to what Darth Tyrannus uh, had to do, or Derek has, everybody else mostly knows him. He had 28, and he's kind of still working on them. But, gotta give the man credit, that's 28 Sabers. It's a lot. Anyway, um, I built these all the same way and pretty much all at the same time this past weekend. Uh, I've had a pretty busy work week, so I haven't gotten around to making this video to show you how they're all operating. Um, if you see yours, you know your order, you know what's in it, involved in anything. This one's the one that I made for myself. Um, batteries go in the bottom. handle there. Can you see that? A couple of trust wires. Good brand of battery. Notice you didn't hear any sound at that point. That's because uh, the ultrasound 2.0 requires a little bit of trickiness. See this 9 volt connector? Zero. Means you're good to go. I'm going to go into the menu and show you how the uh, changes work up on that in just a minute. After I show you that it actually does work. It's a red Soul P4. Flash effects. and you hold down on the button to turn it off. To access the MLS unit, you go in here, and screw the top. There it is. It's on a little quick disconnect. You just disconnect that, connect your uh, new one in, and there you go. You never want to do this while the batteries are in. I wouldn't recommend it. Just to be on the safe side, different currencies, you could accidentally fry an LED if you have LEDs set to uh, different standards. Like, you know, if you're using a Lux V and then you throw a Lux 3 in there, you could accidentally fry the LED. I'm not saying you could, but better to be on the safe side and just disconnect the power, put the capacitors to discharge, then swap the LEDs. Then go back in the menu, as we're going to do right now and change some stuff around. Well, I'm not going to change anything, I'm just going to go through it. Go down the switch. Main menu. Tap button to select mode. Lexi in 3. Selected. Lexi in 3. Red mode selected. And that's the one we want for this old P4 red. Select blade frequency. 1. I like a static blade, but if you want flickering, Specify there you go. Intensity level one. It's plenty loud. Select impact sensitivity level one. I always go for two on this. Two. Select motion sensitivity level one. Two. Three. Settings recorded successfully. That's important. That setting's recorded. If you don't hear that when you are doing a setup, that means it didn't save it. You have to take the pommel off and unclip the battery connector and go through the whole menu again. Sounds like a pain in the butt, but um, otherwise it didn't record it right and the, the saver won't work correctly. Um, here I'm going to show you what an Ultra Edge looks like in red.
Okay. Well, that's pretty much how it works. I hope you uh, enjoy it and um, get an Ultra Edge Blade. They're pretty nice and they look good with quality uh, colors, in my opinion. And have a good night.